26 million dollars under the cap just by restructuring some contracts just to make a trade for Kiko Alonso and Byron Maxwell. I didn't look at I didn't look at their stats yet. Well, I took a glimpse at their stats and they're not impressive. They're not impressive. And honestly, I didn't I didn't really care because I just wanted to give you what the eye test has showed me. Like everybody watched that Monday night that Monday night game, the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Atlanta Falcons week one last year. Byron Maxwell got barbecued. Literally got barbecued. Like I understand, like we are in the new the new age of we six a six foot corner is the hot commodity right now. But honestly, Byron Maxwell is not not worth no sixty two million dollars. Like I knew that right off the bat when the Eagles decided they wanted to go out in free agency last year and picked him up for six for sixty two million dollars when he hasn't even showed me nothing. Like basically he was playing across from Richard Sherman, who I don't think is a good I think he's I think he's a system corner. I'm gonna put it to you like that. I think Richard Sherman is a system corner. I said it to y'all a million times and have y'all been watching the videos. I, I honestly think if Richard Sherman went to a different team, he would end up like Nandi Asama, the ex corner for the, the Oakland Raiders and the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> there you go. Um but it's about Byron Maxwell. Byron Maxwell really hasn't shown me anything. Like He's going to be running the show because rumors rumors coming out of Miami is saying that uh, Brent Grimes doesn't want to restructure his contract. So he's on his way up out of Miami anyway. So what I'm sitting back and look at it, will you make this trade for Byron Maxwell? Uh, are we going to be running cover three? Is that what we're going to be doing? Because the Philadelphia Eagles, they was running like a, man, a single single man to man, no no help over the top whatsoever. When I was when I watched a couple of their games, I ain't, I ain't really get a good evaluation on the Eagles because I don't like the Eagles. <laughs> I don't like the Eagles. But when they played the Dolphins, Byron Maxwell didn't look didn't look good at all. So I, I'm just don't I don't like I don't like the Byron Maxwell trade. And funny thing, because I sit back was thinking about this. La- I was thinking about the last year rumors about us making a trade with the Eagles last year with with Michael Kendricks and um, who was that other guy? Brandon Boykin. Bra- Michael Kendricks and Brandon Boykin. We was about to pull the trigger on that trade last year. I would I would woo, if I, we would have got Michael Kendricks. I said this before too about Michael Kendricks. That boy is a beast. That boy is a beast. And we were just about to give up Deion Joy because Chip Kelly loves his Oregon Ducks. He loves them Oregon Ducks. We were just about to give up Deion Joy. You should have pulled the trigger as soon as you would have heard it. There's, there's no need to go up and say, let me talk to Mike Tannenbaum. Let me talk to Dennis Hickey. Let me talk to Joe Phil. Oh, hell no. Pull the trigger on it right, right then and there. But um, Kiko Alonso. I sit back and look at Kiko Alonso. And, like, it's been said before. It's literally been said before. Like, he doesn't even look like a middle linebacker. Like, like he's he's one year removed from his ACL injury. Didn't nearly get as many tackles as I was expecting him to get. I was expecting him to get at least 80, but he didn't even get at least 80. Cole Misi had more tackles than him, and he didn't even play the whole season. So, like, like literally, Kiko Alonso looks like a cornerback wearing a, a linebacker number. Literally, like he looks he looks skinny. Doesn't even look like he can go in between tackles and make a make a stop in the backfield. Like that, that, like I know he's a prototype type of linebacker, and uh, him playing in Buffalo before he got onto the Philadelphia Eagles, he's in the three four system, and now him, uh, in, well he was in Philadelphia, he's in the three four system. Now he's gonna be playing with us in a four three system. God only knows, but like the uh, like I, I I will be surprised. I will literally be surprised to see what we can get out of Kiko Alonso. Honestly, I already know what we're gonna get out of Byron Maxwell, and it's nothing, and it ain't nothing too good because you. 26 million dollars you could have went into free agency literally go into free agency and could have got a better corner than byron maxwell for for uh 63 million dollars literally 63 million dollars i would get get sean smith back you could have got uh brandon boykin like i just said you could have got oh, i know we're talking with there's there's so many there's so many sources saying that we're trying to get pac-man jones too but a little bit up there in age it won't even really last that long um Janoris Jenkins, uh, Prince Amukamara, all these corners out here, and y'all want to settle for Byron Maxwell, Byron Maxwell, but uh, like we're just going to call this video, tell it like it is this week part two, so uh, like you know what it is, let me know what you guys think about the trade, Um, by the way, the Philadelphia Eagles got two disclosed picks, it hasn't exactly been clear exactly what two picks they have gotten, 
But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the trade. Um, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. That was a whack-ass trade, and I am up out of here.